how you handle trash talk can be the difference between you having a dominating game or having a pretty terrible game. I've seen this happen to a lot of players. It's happened to me where I let people get in my head and I figured out some ways that really help both me and the players that I work with improve this so it's not an issue for them anymore. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with it so it's never a problem for you again either. Coach Jesse Minshew with Get Handles Basketball. Subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch all the newest videos. So, trash talkers. There's a couple different things they're going to try to do. So we got to talk about those different scenarios, those different things they might try to do to you mentally and how you should be dealing with that mentally. First of all, as far as your approach to like are you going to say something back or are you not is going to be a little bit different for every player. I'm not really going to tell you how you should deal with this because everyone's got their different personality and that's fine. Me personally, I would never really talk trash and I would usually just try to let my performance do the talking to the point where, you know, the more they talk, the dumber they look. <laughs> but, you know, if, if that's you know not the case for you, sometimes maybe you do want to talk trash like me sometimes. If people just won't stop and I'm like busting them, I'll let them know after a while, right? Or if they're starting to play kind of dirty because they know they're talking trash and I'm still making them look bad, I'll kind of start talking back a little then. But I'm not one to really ever initiate the trash talk. I'll usually let them go for a while until I know, okay, like, yeah, you don't really have much to say anymore. That's the first thing is I would say, you know, for the most part, you know, whether you want to talk or not, you got to let your performance do the talking, right? And part of that though is to not let them get into your head and alter your performance, right? You can't have that performance if they're in your head because now you're not gonna be playing your game. You're not gonna be playing confident. You're gonna be playing hesitant. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a link to another YouTube video that's gonna really help you with more like the confidence side of things and how you should approach that. That'll really help you with dealing with trash talkers. But here's some more like specific techniques. First of all, one of the things trash talkers are gonna try to do is get you out of your game. So if they think you're really good at shooting but can't drive, they're gonna try to challenge you to drive, like, oh, you can't drive. Or if, you, if they know you can drive right but not left, or vice versa. They're gonna try to make you do your weakness. And it's up to you to not let that bother you. I used to have people, I'm a lefty, and I would just keep beating them left, beating them left, beating them left. And they would be like, you can't beat me right. I'm like, why would I? I'm still beating you left. Until you stop me left, I'm not gonna go right. And then once they finally did, I would just beat them right because they make it easy. So keep playing your game and keep doing your thing. If you're a good shooter, keep shooting. Until they stop you, don't stop what you're doing. Don't let them get you off your strengths because that's what they're trying to do. So then when you miss that shot because maybe you're not a good shooter and you're good at driving, They're gonna be able to say like, yeah, I got you there, right? You couldn't do anything, I'm locking you down. Or they'll try to get in your head about that miss. You know, they'll say maybe like if you if you brick the shot, a nice brick, right? They're gonna say something like that to you. So now, not only did you miss the shot and that gets your confidence down, but on top of that, they're gonna get in your head and, and amplify that by talking the trash about you missing it. So you can't let them get in that position to begin with. You gotta be strong mentally to know, hey, I know what you're trying to do. I'm not gonna let you get away with it though. I'm gonna keep doing my strengths until you're stopping it. So they have to physically stop you. And even if they stop you once, like if you've been driving like right all game long and beating them and all of a sudden they stop you one play and you beat them like four or five times, are you really going to stop driving right just because of one time? You can't let them get to you like that. You got to keep going to your strength until you know for sure it's not an option. I'm not saying to com completely blindly keep going right. You know, if the opportunity is wide open to go left, take the left. If they're giving you enough space for the shot and you feel like you can hit the shot, take the shot. But don't let them get you out of your strengths. So if you know, you're not a really good three-point shooter, but you know you can hit the 15-footer, take the 15-footer. Let them keep talking. That's fine. They can talk all day. Their jaw's going to get tired, okay? Second thing trash talkers are going to do, and this is the big one, is they're just going to try to get you down, period. Anytime you mess up, they're going to let you know. Anytime they stop you, they're going to let you know. Anytime they do something good on you, they're going to let you know. They're basically going to try to bring you down and themselves up. Or maybe they'll just talk about how they're unguardable or how they're going to pick your pocket when you're dribbling the basketball, right? You can't let that get you down. Number one, if they haven't even done anything and they're already talking trash, why would you respect anything they say if they haven't stopped you? Number two, the big part is where they get you, and we kind of talked about this, is if like they steal the basketball, they're gonna make sure you know about it, right? And what that's gonna do is, it's not gonna feel like you just got the ball stolen once, it's gonna feel like you got the ball stolen like multiple times, and they owned you, right? Because they're talking on top of it. Now it's up to you to just kind of block it out. Play the game and focus what's going on on the court and what you need to do 
to dominate them. Don't let their talking get into what's happening. Don't let them over amplify anything that happened. One turnover is one turnover. One missed layup is a missed layup. One block shot is only one block shot. It's only one time. What you gotta do is come back at them consistently and say like, you know what? They can talk all they want. I know I'm better than them and I'm gonna keep coming at them and I'm gonna get them. And maybe after a while, if you wanna let them know about it, go ahead and let them know about it. You know, a lot of guys' approach to trash talk is if someone's talking to me, I'm gonna go ahead and talk back to them. If that's you, hey, go for it. Just don't let things get out of hand. The big thing is you can't allow yourself to get emotionally invested in the situation. And what I mean by that is you can't let yourself get mad at what they're saying. You can't let yourself get down by what they're saying. Your mental side of things has to continue to be strong. You have to say, my strength is being relentless, coming at them. If you got me that play, good for you, I'm getting you next play. You can't allow yourself to get down, to get angry, to play out of your strengths because they're trying to challenge you, all that. You've got to be mentally strong, resilient to know that you're going to play to your strengths, that you're going to play as a strong person that's going to continue to come at them. So here's a couple ways you can use the trash talk against the person talking trash. First of all, if they're challenging you to do something that's like maybe not as much of a strength or you just haven't shown that you can do it in a game and they're really challenging you to do it, what I would do is like if, they, if they're like challenging me to drive right, they used to do this to me all the time because I would just keep beating guys left because guys just aren't used to guarding lefties and I would keep beating them. So why go right, right? Well, what I would do is if they were challenging me to go right, I would give them a really hard fake right and then come back left. And if you really want to let them know, you could even let them know to kind of take that trash talk and turn the tables and use it on them. And really, you're kind of doing it in two ways. Number one, you're using what they're trying to challenge you to do against them by faking it. And then number two, you're letting them know that you got the best of them. Take things even next level if maybe something there's challenging to do that you know you could do if they give you a wide open opportunity to do it like maybe if driving left or right is a problem for you or shooting and you know you can do it if the opportunity's there beat them there once and now let them know about it you've taken that thing that they said is a weakness and you used it against them shown that it's not a weakness now you both physically demonstrated that that's not gonna work. And two, you can let them know about it if you want, whether, you know, just your actions speaking or if you wanna go ahead and talk a little too. I don't know, yeah. You said I couldn't go right or you said I couldn't go left or you said I couldn't shoot. Or you said I don't got handles and then you beat them. Let them know about it. Here's the video that's gonna help you with playing with more confidence in game situations. You'll definitely wanna check that out. It'll help you a ton. These tips help. Hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch the newest videos. I'll see you in that video.